Yo, 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 what up, y'all? It's your boy, OCZ Savage. Today, we're jumping into another deck build. In this one, I have a super strong melee healer mom deck. And uh, this one is really, really good for no hope. And uh, the really cool thing about this build, you're going to be able to have enough melee damage and swing speed to actually be effective in killing. And then we're going to have all the heals that we need to actually heal people up. And then on this one, we're going to be taking advantage of Pumped Up along with Mom's Temp Health DK. And then uh, you're pretty much going to be able to stay alive from meleeing yourself. And then if you hit your team with a heal, you know, any pain pill... You know, med kits if you have them, but the pain pill will be a whole lot better. You'll literally be able to heal their entire life bar for temp health. So it's definitely a really, really fun build. And since pain pills are pretty cheap, you'll actually be able to pain pill people, you know, before matches. You'll be able to pain pill them. You know, you'll hold like three or four, depending on, you know, what kind of upgrade you have. So this one is really, really fun. I've been dominating on No Hope with this one. Now, before we jump into the build, make sure you guys smack that like button so that way this can reach all the back for blooders. And also, too, make sure you guys hit that sub button. Uh, we got we got a lot of stuff coming, so I've been working on a lot of builds, you know, looking at you guys' comments, and I'm definitely about to customize a build for each and every one of you guys. I probably have four or five different things in the making right now. We got nades. I got some uh, healing builds on people that are not necessarily a healer. We got damage decks incoming, we got some troll decks that'll help you win on No Hope incoming, so we definitely got some stuff for you guys, make sure you hit that sub button. Now we're uh, jumping into the deck, so pretty much what we're going to be doing, we're going to be meleeing, that's how we're going to keep all the zombies off of us. So we're going to have pumped up, we're going to have the numb, you know, we're going to have mom's temp health DK, so you'll definitely have temp health pretty much the entire time. And then also, too, I'm going to have two variations to this build. So the first variation, this is more of just the healing, melee variation. You know, you're not going to worry too much about, like, food items. Uh, the second variation, that, that one is the food variation. So in the first one, you'll pretty much have a lot of strength in meleeing. You'll have all the heals. You know, we'll adjust it a little bit so you'll have the swing speed. In the second variation, you're going to be a little bit slower. A little bit less stamina, but we're going to be rocking the food scavenger. And um, I don't know what it is. Like, I thought on Hang, he would spawn the most food if you're using food scavenger. Like, I almost thought that Hang himself using him spawns food. And then if you rock food scavenger, it'll, you know, throw out more food. So on him, you should be able to find more, right? I've come to find out that that is not completely the truth um i've been rocking food melee on mom and i'm finding like 10 15 food items a map and to be quite honest with you i've been throwing food food scavenger on like holly been throwing it on evangelo and uh it's confirmed for me i'm finding all kinds of food items like 10 15 things on the map down in the comments let me know if it's working for you guys or i don't know if my game's glitched out are you finding food items with food scavenger on people other than hang so let me know down in the comments. I think it's absolutely insane, especially for a melee build. So jumping into the deck, this is going to be the first variation. We got the cross trainers, adrenaline fueled, got the meth head pumped up, medical expert. And then we're going to be rocking EMT bag and antibiotic ointment. Now what's really cool about this build, of course, you're going to have all the damage that you need for melee. You're going to be able to get all the temp health back. But with the healing efficiency that we have mixed with the pumped up, you'll pretty much be able to just buy a couple pain pills. You know, I'm not saying that you're going to save lives on this deck, but you'll be able to hit somebody with a pain pill and literally fill their entire bar with temp health. So that's really good. Now for the second variation, what we're going to do, just take off the brazen, take off the cross trainers because we're not going to need any stamina. And then we're going to throw on the vanguard and the food scavenger. Now, I'm telling you right now, this setup on this build right here, I've been trying it for a couple days, testing it out. I played with people through multiple maps, played with bots through multiple maps. This build is solid. And uh, like I was telling you guys, for some reason, the food scavenger, I'm finding the same amount of food items on mom or, you know, other players that I am on hang. So uh, now what I'm doing is I'm throwing food scavenger, mixing this into a couple different melee decks. 
And I'm telling you, with those food items, you get so broken on melee, swing speed, stamina, you're healing back trauma every time you find one. So it's definitely super broke. Down in the comments, let me know if you guys tried this. You know, I have done melee mom variations before, but uh, before the food scavenger, before the well rested, you know, before some of the buffs to the cards, now this thing absolutely rips. You'll definitely be able to kill festering ridden. You're killing those pink spiky haired ridden. And the coolest thing about it is, you know, with the pumped up and you'll be having, you know, two, three pain pills. And on top of that, you're going to have Vanguard. And on top of that, you're going to have Food Scavenger. It is really, 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 really hard to die on this build. And uh, again, I ran through the maps with bots. Ran through the maps with people. So I tested it all out. I know how it feels with the bots. I know how it feels with the people. And I'm telling you right now, if you put yourself in the really good spots, you know, make sure whenever a horde gets called or... You know, a tall boy a mutation is coming. Make sure your back is to the wall. I'm telling you, it's going to be super duper hard for you guys to die. Make sure you guys go out and try this build. And try it both ways too. Try it without the food scavenger and see how you like it. And then try it with the food scavenger and see how you like it. I can guarantee with the food scavenger, you're going to literally love this build. I do have more variations, other food scavenger things coming out. We got some damage builds coming out, got nade builds coming out. I got a nice profit healer deck coming out, which I think you guys are really going to like. So definitely got some more stuff cooking for you guys. Again, make sure you guys smack that like button so this could reach all the back for blooders. And also too, if you haven't already hit that sub button because we do got more back for blood videos incoming for you guys. But yeah, this one is super duper fun. And I think another really good thing about it is with the temp health, because it's like you're not going to have you know, all the healing that you would have on Holly or all the stamina that you would have on Evangelo, but with the temp health, that keeps you alive just long enough, you know what I mean, for you to get those swings off. And then literally every single food item that you buy, uh, you're just getting more and more buffed, more and more broken, swinging faster and faster. So as the map goes on, you know, you find five, six, seven food items. I think you're good right there. Honestly, if you find like three green beans, you're chilling. And then, you know, anything on top of that is just going to be an extra plus. So definitely go out and try this build down in the comments. Let me know if it worked for you. How'd you guys like it? Again, I tried this in every which way. Act one, act five, act three. Did it with bots, did it without bots. I already know how it feels. I already seen. So let me know what you guys think. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the vid, and I'll see you on that next one. Peace.